Good afternoon. This is a video to show you how to fill out properly the ballot for the mail-in ballot for the general election. Governor Murphy's executive order number 177 declared that this November's general election will be held only by vote by mail, all on paper. Every active registered voter in Hudson County will receive a ballot in the mail by the end of the first week in October. It looks like this. When you receive it, don't throw it out. This is your ballot for the general election. There will be no machine voting this election. If you go to your polling place, you will vote on a provisional paper ballot or you may bring this ballot with you. When you receive your ballot, in the mail, you will find several things inside it. You will find a return envelope that is postage paid. It has your name and address on the back. You will find a certification agreement uh, envelope. There will be a letter explaining why you are receiving a mail-in ballot, English and Spanish, an insert with vote by mail instructions with step-by-step -step instructions. There will be a yellow notice We'll get to this later. And finally, your ballot, which looks like this. The top of the ballot is where you vote for president, senator, house of representative, and freeholder. At the bottom is a municipal question, yes or no, just for voters in Jersey City, and you'll find the official uh, ballot for the Board of Education election. At the very right, in English and Spanish, are instructions on how to properly mark a ballot for the candidate of your choice or for your answer to the public questions and the municipal questions. Use only a pencil or ink pen black or blue, do not use red ink, and completely fill in the oval. The three public questions to be decided by all New Jersey voters are on the reverse side of the ballot. The first thing to do is to read your vote by mail instructions and follow the six steps. Step one. Mark your ballot. Fill in the holes completely for every office for which you're voting and the municipal on the bottom and the Board of Education and the public questions on the reverse. Next, step two. Complete the certificate of mail-in voter. Here it asks for your name, your address, and your signature. Do not detach. No desprenda el certificado. Certificado. Step three. Insert the ballot into the certificate envelope. And you can pull the strip off and seal it. Again, do not detach the certificate. Step four, insert this completed certificate envelope into the return envelope. As a pull-off strip for you to seal the return envelope and 
put your name and address, print your name and address on the return envelope. This envelope can be dropped into any mailbox or this yellow notice lists all of the locations of all secure drop box ballot locations throughout Hudson County for your convenience, where, near where you live or near where you work. Thank you. Please vote soon. Please drop them in the ma mailbox or the ballot boxes. And thank you very much.